الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر We will just do the translation of this surah. Obviously, we cannot continue with our regular summary of the taraweeh. There has been a large gap. So I thought I will just do the translation of this surah. I was just reading a quote from Ibn Rajab al-Hanbali, narrates from Ibn Hubayra. Rahimahumullah, that when the night of Jumu'ah coincides with one of the odd nights of the last ten nights. Right? Ibn, Ibn Rajab narrates from Ibn Hubayra that when one of the um, when the night of Jumu'ah tonight the, the night uh, Thursday night which would be the night for Friday. So tonight is Friday night. When the night of Jumu'ah coincides with one of the odd nights, then there is a greater possibility that this is Laylatul Qadr. Imkan ziyada hai. Jab Juma ki raat taak raatu mein a jaye to ziyada imkan hai Laylatul Qadr ka. Unka farmana hai. So if tonight is Laylatul Qadr, just a reminder, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we have revealed the Qur'an in the night of Qadr, the night of power, meaning Allah chose this night for the revelation of the Qur'an, meaning for the Qur'an to descend from Lawhul Mahfuz, where it was preserved, to the first heaven, meaning for it to be accessible to human beings. Like this was the beginning of revelation. This was the first revelation where the whole Qur'an was revealed to the first heaven. And from there it was revealed gradually. So Allah chose this night. Meaning, it is a night in which the destiny of human beings changed. This is how powerful this night is. It can change our whole life. This one night. Allah says, we revealed the Qur'an in the night of power, the night of Qadr. And what would inform you, O Muhammad وسلم, of what the night of power is? Meaning, we have no idea what Laylatul Qadr is. But truly, in its true essence, we cannot imagine. Because this has to do with the unseen. What the arrangements Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes in this night is beyond our comprehension. The angels that descend. The rahmat of Allah, His mercy, His forgiveness, His blessings, His, his pleasure, and um, the positive influences that exist in this night due to the descending of thousands of angels uh, onto earth. Allah says, what would you know of what Laylatul Qadr is? Then Allah mentions one virtue of Laylatul Qadr. Allah says, Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr. Like it's enough for you, O human beings, to appreciate this night, to know that the night of power, the night of Qadr is more virtuous, is better than a thousand months. A thousand months, one night. Not equivalent to it. Allah says khayrun, it's better than a thousand. How much more better? Only Allah knows. 
but this is like the minimum Allah is speaking about. 1,000 months, people have calculated kitna sal, 83 years and some months, right? That's like a whole lifetime. I mean, who lives? Not everyone lives till they're 83. That's like a whole lifetime that is compacted in one night. And Allah could do that, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is qadr. He is all-powerful. He can uh, put the blessings of a whole lifetime in one night. This is how powerful this night is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the angels, thousands, if not millions and billions of them, descend. malaikatu, And the chief of all of them, Ar-Ruh. Many of the scholars say Ar-Ruh here means Jibra'il. Jibra'il alayhi salam descends with these uh, you know, uh, millions of angels onto earth. وَالرُّوحُ fiha In this night, with the permission of Allah, with every decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will be decided in this night. Allah says, سَلَامٌ This is a night of peace. سَلَامٌ هِيَ حَتَّى مَطَلْعِ الْفَجْرِ This night is full of peace, it's full of tranquility. It's full of blessings until the morning rises, until the rising of the sun. So when it is Laylatul Qadr, the blessings of this night, it, they begin from Maghrib, right? Usually, um, the last third part of the night is the blessed part of the night. But in these special nights, like Laylatul Qadr, the blessings of the night begin from Maghrib. So we should, you know, try to be prepared from Maghrib till Fajr, right? Till sunrise, not just Subh Sadiq, till sunrise. We should try to utilize this time in the best manner possible in a way where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes pleased with us. The angels become our friends, right? We have befriended devils all our life, right? We have befriended devils all, all our life, right? All the devilish uh, gadgets that we are constantly uh, associated with, connected to, we are constantly plugged into. They have destroyed our lives. Right. They have destroyed our spirituality. This is a night in which we can recover from all that damage that has been done. May Allah give us the tawfiq. Just make dua. Allahumma laka alhamdu bil iman, wa laka alhamdu bil islam, wa laka alhamdu bil quran. Allahumma laka alhamdu bil quran, Allahumma laka alhamdu bil quran, wa laka alhamdu bil ahli wal mali wal mu'afa. Allahumma laka alhamdu kama yanbaghi li jalali wajhika wa azimi sultanik. اللهم لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله اللهم لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله اللهم لك الحمد كله ولك الشكر كله اللهم لا نحصي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك اللهم لك الحمد كالذي تقول وخيرا مما نقول اللهم لك الحمد كالذي تقول وخيرا مما نقول اللهم لك الحمد كما أنت أهله وصل وسلم على محمد كما أنت أهله وفعل بنا ما أنت أهله إنك أنت أهل التقوى وأهل المغفرة اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلاة تنجينا بها من جميع الأهوال والآفات وتقضي لنا بها جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها عندك أعلى الدرجات وتبلغنا بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات إنك على كل شيء قدير يا رب صل وسلم دائما أبدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم جزى الله عنا محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم بما هو أهله جزى الله عنا محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم بما هو أهله اللهم صل على محمد كلما ذكره الذاكرون وصل على محمد كلما غفل عن ذكره الغافلون ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم فاعف عنا يا كريم فاعف عنا يا كريم يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا إلى طاعتك يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم إن قلوبنا ونواصينا وجوارحنا بيدك لم تملكنا منها شيئا فإذا فعلت ذلك بنا فكن أنت ولينا 
اهدنا الى سواء السبيل اللهم اهدنا الى سواء السبيل اللهم اهدنا الى سواء السبيل اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم حبب الينا الايمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره الينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان اللهم اجعلنا من الراشدين اللهم اجعلنا هادين مهتدين غير ضالين ولا مضلين سلما لأوليائك وحربا لأعدائك نحب بحبك من أحبك ونعادي بعداوتك من خالفك من خلقك اللهم ارزقنا حبك اللهم ارزقنا حبك وحب رسولك وحب من ينفعنا حبه عندك اللهم اجعل حبك أحب الأشياء إلينا واجعل خشيتك أخوف الأشياء عندنا واقطعنا حاجات الدنيا بالشوق إلى لقائك وإذا أقررت أعين أهل الدنيا من دنياهم فأقرر أعيننا من عبادتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اللهم ارزقنا حبك وحب رسولك وحب من ينفعنا حبه عندك رب يعط نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم وفقتنا للصيام وفقتنا للقيام اللهم كما وفقتنا لذلك تقبله منها منا يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا تقبل منا يا أرحم الراحمين تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب جهنم ونعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المحيا والممات ونعوذ بك من المأثم والمغرم اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم اللهم إنا نسألك من فجاءة الخير ونعوذ بك من فجاءة الشر اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أنت المستعان عليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Oh Allah, please forgive our sins. Oh Allah, we have sinned all our life. Oh Allah, we have polluted our hearts with sins, oh Allah. We have polluted ourselves with sins, major and minor sins, oh Allah. Public and private sins, oh Allah. Sins that we are aware of and sins that we are not aware of, oh Allah. Oh Allah, we have destroyed our souls, oh Allah. Oh Allah, please help us. Oh Allah, help us in this month of Ramadan. Oh Allah, purify our souls, oh Allah. Oh Allah, redeem our souls, oh Allah. Oh Allah. Uh, repair the damage that has been done to our souls, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us come back to you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, turn our hearts towards you, O oh Allah. Turn the hearts of the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, towards you, O oh Allah. Have mercy upon the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم. Forgive the Ummah of Muhammad O oh Allah, guide the Ummah of Muhammad O oh Allah, this Ummah is drowned in sin, O oh Allah. This Ummah is drowned in disbelief, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, this Ummah umma is drowned in oppression, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, relieve the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, from the oppression that it is experiencing, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, relieve the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, from the sins that have polluted this earth, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, relieve the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, from these sins, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, immorality, indecency has spread throughout the world, O oh Allah. Nudity has spread throughout the world, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, this earth has been polluted by human beings, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, please forgive us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, spread modesty throughout the world, O oh Allah. Spread belief throughout the world, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let all of mankind see the truth, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let all of mankind appreciate the Quran that you have revealed to them, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us be people who devote our lives to the Quran, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, bless us with the blessings of the Quran, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, do not deprive us from the blessings of Laylatul Qadr, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, make us, make us from those who please you during this night, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, make us from those who stand in front of you in prayer during the night of Qadr, O oh Allah. Make, it, make us from those who recite the Quran in Laylatul Qadr, O oh Allah. Make us from those who remember you during Laylatul Qadr, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, make us from those who the angels meet, O oh Allah, in this night, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us meet the angels, O oh Allah. Let us experience the positive of these angels, O oh Allah. Let us meet them, O oh Allah. Let us become friends with angels, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, cut our friendship off with the devils, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, keep the devils away from us, O oh Allah. Keep the devils away from our children, O oh Allah. Away from our wives and our sisters and our daughters and our mothers, O oh Allah. And our parents, O oh Allah, and our children till the 
to come till the day of judgment, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, protect us from the pollution of the environment around us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, you are the only protector, O oh Allah. Only you can protect us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, without your protection, we will certainly go astray, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, we will certainly destroy ourselves, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, we will land in the fire, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, do not, do not let us go towards the fire, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, guide us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, in this night of Laylatul Qadr, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, make decisions for our guidance, O oh Allah, for the, uh, the for the mercy, for mercy to descend upon the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O Allah, O oh Allah, we have been tested enough, O oh Allah. We are not worthy of being tested in our faith, O oh Allah. Allah, if you were to test us in our faith, O oh Allah, we would certainly fail, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, if you were to test us in our practices, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, we would not remain steadfast, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, do not test us, O oh Allah. We have been tested enough, O oh Allah. The Ummah has been go going through tests for years now, O oh Allah, for decades now, for centuries now, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, have mercy upon the Ummah of Muhammad, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, have mercy upon the Ummah of Muhammad, O oh Allah. O oh Allah. Oh Allah, spread your mercy and guidance throughout the world, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let the Ummah turn back to you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, open the doors of Hidayah for the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Open the doors of your forgiveness, O oh Allah. Open the doors of your mercy, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, protect the Ummah from Shaitan and his and his progeny, O oh Allah. Protect the Ummah of shay from Shaitan, O oh Allah. Protect the Ummah from their own souls, O oh Allah, from the evils of the nafs, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us realize the evils of our own souls, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, do not make us slaves of our own souls, O oh Allah. Make us true slaves to you, O oh Allah. Make us your true servants, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, in this night, decide for us to become your true servants, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us become close to you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, be pleased with us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, put contentment in our hearts, O oh Allah, contentment in our faith, O oh Allah, in our practices, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, protect us from falling in doubt after having faith, O oh Allah. Protect us from all types of doubt, O oh Allah. All types of disbelief, O oh Allah. All types of dis indecency, O oh Allah. Immorality, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, guide us, O oh Allah. Adorn our character, O oh Allah. Protect the Ummah. Protect the youth of the Ummah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, O Allah, the youth is our future, O Allah, all boys and girls, O Allah, protect them, O Allah, O Allah, they are open and, and they are exposed to this filth in this society, O Allah, O Allah, for in, the, in the corruption of the environment, O Allah, uh, they are exposed to all of this, O Allah, O Allah, only you can protect them, O Allah, O Allah, protect them, give them strong faith and iman, O Allah, O Allah, adorn them with good character, O Allah, protect them from evil in Ill, Ill manners, O Allah, evil character, O Allah, O Allah, protect them from destroying their souls, O Allah, O Allah, let them appreciate the Quran, O Allah, O Allah, give them beneficial knowledge, O Allah, O Allah, righteous practice, O Allah, O Allah, let them love you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, put the love of you and your beloved Prophet ﷺ in the hearts of the youth of the Ummah of Muhammad O oh Allah, let us live for your sake, O oh Allah, for your love. Let us die for your sake and for your love, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us experience the ecstasy of loving you and your Prophet ﷺ, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, take out the love of everything that is becoming an obstacle between us and you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, take the love of the world out of our hearts, O oh Allah. Take the love of, love of sin out of our hearts, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, take the love of indecency and immorality out, immorality out, out of our hearts, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, so many of us are addicted, O oh Allah. So many of us have become addicted to sin, O oh Allah. Have become addicted to uh, indecency, O oh Allah. Addicted to nudity, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, protect us, save us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let, let us uh, come out of these addictions, O oh Allah. Cure us from our addictions, O oh Allah. Let us become addicted with the Quran, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us become addicted with the Sunnah of the Prophet, O oh Allah. Let us become addicted with pleasing you, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, let us uh, become people who become a source of guidance for others, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, give us such guidance in which we become a guidance for others, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, utilize us for the service of your deen, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, utilize us and do not replace us, O oh Allah. Allahumma sta'milna wa la tastabdilna. O oh Allah, use us and do not replace us, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, you can replace anyone you want, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, you can remove from this deen anyone you want, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, do not deprive us from this deen, O oh Allah. Do not deprive our children, O oh Allah. Do not replace them with the children of others, O oh Allah. Guide everyone, O oh Allah, and keep us steadfast, O oh Allah. Accept the du'as of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu in this holy month, O oh Allah, in this month of Ramadan. All the prayers that are being done in Haramain al-Sharifain, O oh Allah, in Mecca al mukarramah in Medina al munawwara O oh Allah. All the prayers of the Ummah, accept the prayer and the du'a of the whole Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi O oh Allah, make our, give us a share in their prayers, O oh Allah, and give them a share in our prayers, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, those whose prayers you accept, O oh Allah, make, make our share in their prayers also, O oh Allah, those who are 
performing i'tikaf, accepting i'tikaf, and make it a source of guidance and blessing for the whole um, ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Make it make it a source of of righteousness and goodness spreading in our communities. O Allah, accept their i'tikaf. O Allah, o Allah, make us from those who stand in the night of Qadr. O Allah, do not deprive us. Rabbana taqabbal minna, inna ka anta sami'u alim, wa tub alina inna ka anta tawabu rahim. O Allah, let us enjoy making du'a. O Allah, o Allah, let us enjoy speaking to you. O Allah, o Allah, give us the pleasure of du'a. O Allah, o Allah, let us uh, be passionate in asking from you. O Allah, o Allah, let us have a personal connection with you through our du'as. O Allah, Rabbana taqabbal minna, inna ka anta sami'u alim. وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم اللهم هذا الدعاء ومنك الإجابة وهذا الجهد وعليك التكلان برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين